Hi guys, hope you all doing well and welcome back to our series of Microsoft Intune and in this video I'm going to talk about app deployment. Now if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video we have discussed about app lifecycle management whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing how to add applications, what are the different types of applications that can be deployed, what are the different assignment types available how to assign an application to a specific set of users and how to check user or device install status now let's proceed by knowing what are the types of applications that can be deployed the first category is store apps that has been scoped to three different platforms ios android and windows then we have office 365 suite that can be deployed to either windows or mac we can also choose Microsoft Edge to be deployed through Intune for different set of users. And lastly, we have web links, built-in apps, line of business apps, basically your in-house developed apps, then Windows apps and Android enterprise system apps. Now let's understand what are the different deployment and assignment types available. The first category is required. Now, when I add an application in Microsoft Intune, I can assign that application to a specific set of users. Now, this section is moreover related to what kind of assignment. So the first category is required. Now, this means that if any application has been assigned as a required application to a specific user, the moment they will enroll the device, they will start getting a prompt. Your organization wants to install this application on your device. Now, as a user, the moment I acknowledge that request, the application will be installed. The next option is available for enrolled devices. Now, when I add an application and if I choose this assignment type, that particular application will only be available if your device is enrolled in Microsoft Intune. The third and the last one is available with or without enrollment. That means if I'm adding an application and I'm assigning that application to a specific group of users, that application can be installed by those users on any device, whether it is compliant or not, or whether it is managed or not. Now let's proceed by knowing how the assignment type or how you will add store apps in Intune console. So you can add iOS, Android and Windows, all three platform, but I will be showing you iOS. Now, the reason why I'm showing you iOS, because I can demonstrate an application deployment with an iOS test device, but I'll tell you the theoretical part, which is moreover related to iOS and Android both. When you will add an iOS store app, you can actually just search that application in the Intune console. You'll select that application and that application will be added. But in case of Android, you have to manually go ahead and search the Play Store, copy the address, place it in the configuration, and then that particular application will be added in the Intune console. And you can choose any of the assignment type, be it required, available with or without enrollment or available only to enrolled devices. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my browser where I will be doing all the configuration and I'll walk you through what all settings you need to do so that the respective application can be available on company portal app. So now I'm logged into portal.azure.com and here exactly we will be making all the changes. But before I make all the changes, let me give you the background what all we are going to do. So we are going to add Outlook application as a required assignment type. Then we will add Word application as with enrollment assignment type. Then we are going to use Teams as with or without enrollment assignment type and the last thing that I will be showing you is how to deploy a web link as an application that will get installed on the device. So now let's proceed with the first application that is Outlook as a required assignment type. Now there are two ways to add application in Intune console. The first one is just click on Intune and then click on client apps. And from this particular console, you can actually add apps by clicking add. The next option is if you are directly navigating to Intune app protection. 
Now, as you can see, the moment I clicked on Intune app protection, the first option that I'm getting is app, which was the same console that will be presented if I click on Intune and then click on client apps. So now I'm going to click on apps and then I'm going to click on add. The platform that I'm going to choose is iOS store app. I'll click on select and now I'm going to click on search the app store. Now here I'm going to type Outlook and it's a very common app so it will be available in the store. Now I've selected Outlook and I have clicked on select. Now, as you can see that these are some of the very common parameters which can be customized as per your enterprise. So likewise, you want this application to be available on a specific set of operating system version. You can customize it from here. Let's say you only want this application to be available on iPhone and iPods, then you can make changes from here. The most important option which you should take care of or which you should configure is this which is show this as a featured app and company portal now the moment i will click on yes and as a user when i will sign into company portal app this application will be available on company portal console now this is something moreover achieving a use case wherein one stop access for a particular user can be defined wherein he or she can simply sign into company portal and all the applications will be displayed and then he or she can install whatever application they want to install now i'm done with all the configuration and i'm going to click on next if you want or if you have already defined any scope tags you can choose that now i have specifically covered scope tags in a different video altogether i will be sharing that link in the description if you guys want you can review that as well the next section is the most important section which i was referring in our presentation as well and here i'm going to choose the first category which is required and now i'm going to click on add group here i'm going to select a group which has a user called MFA and I will be using that user to sign into company portal app to show you the user experience. So in a nutshell, what will happen as of now that though the outlook will be available as an application on company portal, but I will not be able to install because this is only available for managed devices. Now I'll click on next and this is the section from where you can review all the settings and everything is in place as well as required is in tune map so now what i'll do i'll click on create that's all what has to be done in order to add an app as a required assignment type now let's add the other application which is word and the assignment type that we have to choose is with enrollment so i'll again go back to intune console and i'll click on add ios store app select search the app store and now i'm going to type microsoft word once that application is highlighted over here i'll select this and then i'll click on next but before clicking on next i'm also enabling this option which is show this as a featured app in company portal next no scope tags in the assignment i'm going to choose available for enrolled devices only and yes word is supposed to be added for enrolled devices only i'm again going to select the same group that's not going to make any difference because the device type is actually checked whenever this kind of application is installed on a particular ios now i'm not making any changes as you can see in the summary the only change is the assignment type and i'll click on create now i'll add the third application and then I will resume the video with the third assignment type. So I have added teams and again, I'm going to switch this option to yes. Next, no scope tags and this time available with or without enrollment. And it is in tune. And I'm going to click on select next create. Now we have three applications which are added with three different assignment type. But now what I'm going to show you is a different app type and that will be web link. So what I'll do is from this section, I'm going to select this option of web link and I'm going to click on select. And I'm just going to name this as my own channel concepts work. 
and now I'm going to enter the URL of my channel I don't want a managed browser to be required to open this particular link so I'll keep it as no in the category I can choose anything and then I'll click on yes and again click on next no scope tags and here exactly you can choose the assignment type now irrespective of the assignment type that you are choosing over here if your device is enrolled then only the application will get installed so just to show you guys both the use cases I'm selecting this option of available with or without enrollment what will be the difference in terms of user experience when the device is not enrolled this link can be opened in the browser but the shortcut will not be created and the moment the device is enrolled the shortcut will also be created so I'll click on select I'll click on next and I'll click on create so now we have four applications three with different assignment type and one with a different app type now what I'll do is I'll come back to the application console and I'll just refresh to see if all the applications are in assigned state or not now what I'm going to do is I'm going to present my phone on the screen and show you what will be the user experience So this is my iOS device where I have already installed company portal and I'm just going to launch company portal. I'm going to click on sign in and then I'm going to type my username and my password and then I'll show you what will be the user experience in terms of installing the application and why three different assignment type will have different kind of user experience. So I've tapped in my credential and I'm going to click on sign in. Now, for the first time, it might take some time, but once you have logged in a couple of times, then it is, it's almost same. It's not going to take more time and you'll have a better user experience. So as you can see, the moment I'm signed into my company portal app, I'm getting the option to get the device enrolled. I'll click on postpone and I'll cancel this enrollment. This is something which I have addressed in our second video as well that just installing company portal app doesn't mean that your device will get enrolled now as per the configuration outlook app is a required app as well as this app which is our channel app will be available if your device is enrolled so as of now we are getting this option of get this app but the moment this device will be enrolled this option will be like install now just to show you guys that as of now this device is not enrolled you can see on the screen as well it is showing that this device is not managed I'll come back to app section and now I will select the option of word and as you can see now I'm getting this option that is this device needs to be managed before you can install the app because when we were adding word application we have selected the category that this application should only be available to enrolled devices now let's come back to our app section and let's click on teams as you can see I'm getting the option of install now the moment I will click on install I will be redirected back to App Store from here I can install this particular application this is exactly what the user experience will be now I'll come back to my company portal app and what I'll do is I'll get this device enrolled and I'll resume the video and I'll show you what are the different prompts user will get for the other assignment types so now as you can see my device is enrolled and let's come back to app section and let's click on the very first application which is a web link application and as you can see this option is now changed now the moment I will click on install a short link will be added at the iOS level itself where a home screen icon will help you to open the web page of our channel so if I'll come back there will be a shortcut icon once I'll click on that the browser will open but before I go and show you how concepts work channel will open as you can see I'm also getting a prompt which says my organization wants to install Outlook directly from the store because if you guys remember when we were adding application we have selected Outlook as a required app so this is how the exact behavior will be for user let's come back to home screen and as you can see 
I'm getting the option now for concepts work. The moment I'll click on this, the channel will get opened up and this is how you can deploy different web links for different kind of user. Now this prompt for required app will keep on coming and the frequency is something which is not available to get customized. The moment I'll click on install, Outlook will get installed under the hood and let's see, as you can see, I'm not redirected to App Store, it's just that the application started getting installed. So now let's come back to our deck and have a review of what will be the user experience. So in terms of user experience, user has to launch App Store. The moment user launches the App Store, he or she has to install Company Portal app. Once the Company Portal app is installed, Company Portal app can be used to install other application. The moment user clicks on any of the application which are supposed to be installed, when it comes to store apps, those apps will be available on the device. Now, when it comes to web link, a different app type, it will only be available if the device is managed device. Now, the last thing which is left is user and device install status. So for that, I'm going to switch to my browser again and I'm going to select any of the application. Let's say I'm selecting Microsoft Outlook and then once you are in the console where you can manage the application setting you'll get two more options like device install status and user install status and the moment you'll click on device install status you'll come to know which application is being installed or if there is any installation pending or if if there is a sync gap anything which is more over related to installation status that will be mentioned over here so let's come back to our deck and talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed. So we have discussed about how to add applications. What are the different types of applications that can be deployed? What are the different assignment types that are available? And how to assign an application to a specific set of users. In fact, how to check user or device install status. In the next video, I'm going to talk about Intune app protection. If you guys have learned something new, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.